Hello everyone, welcome and today we are discussing a serious but sometimes scary topic, diabetes and its effects on the eyes. I'm sure you've heard about diabetes or you probably have one or you know someone who has one. Diabetes is a condition that affects millions of people worldwide and currently there are about 24 million people in the world living with diabetes. For Ghana, there are about 320,000 people living with diabetes and that's quite a lot. So what is diabetes anyway? Diabetes occurs when the body does not properly process food as energy. Let me break this down. There's this, there's this hormone in the body called insulin. So think of insulin as a transporter. So when you eat food, you take drinks, all that, and they are broken down into compounds in your body, mainly glucose. This insulin, which is the taxi, has to take the glucose into your cells from the bloodstream. So when it gets into the cells, it's used up and then um, the normal body function goes on. So in the case of diabetes, what happens is that it's either there's not enough insulin in the body or your body cells does not respond to the insulin. In that case, the compounds, mainly glucose, are not able to enter the cells and they are in the bloodstream. When they are in the bloodstream like that, they can end up damaging the blood vessels and causing problems all over the body, including the eye. Diabetes is often associated with heart problems such as hypertension. It is also associated with stroke and kidney problems. Some symptoms of diabetes, type 1 and type 2, include fatigue, frequent urination, weight loss, frequent tests, and blood vision. So here are some conditions that affect the eye as a result of diabetes. Diabetic retinopathy, macular edema, cataracts, glaucoma, and dry. I'm going to speak about three of them and then I'm going to drop a link in the description box where you can read more about these conditions. So the first one I'm going to speak about is diabetic retinopathy. So there is a part of the eye known as the retina, which is at the back of the eye. It's a light sensitive layer. So what it does is that it takes information from the outside world, then takes it to that layer, then to the brain, for the brain to interpret this as images or to tell you about your surroundings. So in diabetic retinopathy, vessels in this retina are also affected. They become leaky and swell. And if the diabetes is not controlled, you may end up going blind. Diabetes can also result in glaucoma. So due to the high blood sugar levels, there is abnormal growth of blood vessels where they are not supposed to be. That is the front part of the eye. And when that happens, there's an increase in eye pressure and that can result in glaucoma. So last but certainly not the least of problems is cataracts. People who have diabetes are two times more likely to develop cataracts and even faster than those who do not have diabetes. And the high sugar levels in the blood, it changes the composition of the lens. The lens is like this clear structure in your eye that allows you to see clearly. So when it changes this composition, it makes it cloudy or yeah, cloudy. So when it becomes cloudy, light is not able to pass through and then in the world in blindness. So how best can we deal with diabetic retinopathy? The only way to deal with diabetic retinopathy is to control your blood sugar levels. So if you already have diabetes, the best thing is to go to your doctor and then take your medications and live a healthy lifestyle. You should also get regular eye checkups if you're a known diabetic patient. There are some things we can do to prevent the onset of diabetes in the first place. One, be physically active. So we should try to have some form of exercise every day for at least 30 minutes. You can decide to go swimming or just try walking for at least 30 minutes each day. So secondly, try to keep your weight under control. And lastly, diet modifications. 